Hello, in this video we're going to chat just real briefly about how your computer is organized. Many of you may feel that you look at this machine and you just have no idea where anything is, or how to find stuff, or how to get to stuff, or how to move stuff around, or organize it, or anything like that. So hopefully this video will point you in the right direction and uh, give you a sense of where things are on your computer. We start with the Finder program. It's this two-faced smiley face in the bottom left corner. Click one time on it, and it'll open up what we call a Finder window. This whole window right here is a Finder window. And as the name implies, it lets you find things on your computer, or browse through files on your computer. On the left side, down here in blue, is what we call the source bar. At the top, you'll see any devices plugged into your computer, such as your hard drive, or an iDisk, or an external hard drive like this one, as well as any CDs that you might have plugged in, or inserted. Uh, in the middle here, you're going to have four commonly used places. So these are just quick links to folders that you might use frequently, such as your desktop, your home folder, your applications, and your documents. Uh, yes, desktop here is the same thing as this picture in the background. So if I were to have any documents on my desktop here, they would show up in this list here. So it is redundant. Don't get confused. Your home folder is... Uh, where you keep all of your stuff, just like a real home. And just like a real home that's divided up into rooms to keep your things organized, you keep some things in your kitchen and some in your bathroom, things like that. This home folder as well is also divided up into rooms. We have desktop, documents, downloads, etc. Quick note on some of these. Um, we already touched on desktop. It is redundant with this picture in the background and this folder here. There are just a few different ways of getting to the same place. Any files that you have stored on your desktop in the background here show up in this list. Documents is fairly self-explanatory. It's where you're going to keep all of your documents. When you want to keep things organized, uh, one of many ways to do it is to click on this action button up here at the top and choose new folder. And You can create new folders such as letters to friends and then you can drag your other files into your folders to keep things better organized. In this particular view, as you might have figured out by now, I have different columns that are showing me different content. So uh, inside of my home folder here are all of these documents. And I chose my documents folder. So inside of documents, I see the contents over here in the next column to the right. Again, I could click on my letters to friends folder and see the contents of that to the right column. Uh, you have four other or three other view buttons up here along the top such as icons which you're used to uh, probably from any other computer use or list view or column view or cover flow. Uh, in this video we're not going to get into detail into any of these views but just know that these are four view buttons just to let you change how you're looking at your content. It's the same stuff on your computer just four different ways to look at it. So I'm going to keep this in column view and keep going. We touched on documents, we touched on how to make new folders and then you can drag your files in between your different folders. Next we're going to go to your downloads list. Let's talk about this for a second. A lot of people don't know that anything that you download goes to your downloads folder here. Which means anytime you download something from Safari or from iChat or in your mail program, it's going to go into this folder here, your downloads folder. Consequently, over time, stuff can add up in this list. And you might have three or four copies of the same picture, and you might have a document that's two years old that you don't need anymore. So I highly suggest visit your downloads folder, find things that you don't need, and move them to your trash can. And then empty the trash by clicking on the trash and choosing empty. So, go to your downloads folder, file away what you are going to use. Like, here I have a folder of beach pictures, but they don't belong permanently in my downloads folder. So instead, I'm going to drag my beach pictures down to my pictures folder here and just drop them in here where they belong. So now, beach pictures are inside my pictures folder, not downloads. So now my downloads folder is empty, which is the way it should be. So go ahead and browse through those things. 
library here is not where you go when you want to read Charles Dickens. This is a folder that is exclusively for the computer to use. I wouldn't uh, add anything to your library here. I wouldn't remove anything. I wouldn't change names. Generally, just go hands off with this library folder. You don't want to mess with that. The rest are fairly self explanatory. Movies is going to have any movies that you've put in there or anything that you've created in iMovie, the movie making program on your computer. When you want to change your movies in iMovie, do it in the program iMovie, not by dragging them into or out of this movies folder here. That can really screw things up. Music, of course, has all of your iTunes stuff. Again, don't bother changing things inside this folder. Go to the actual program iTunes and make your changes. Similarly, pictures has your iPhoto library. Make all your changes in iPhoto, not in this folder here. Public is a folder you can use when you have multiple accounts on your computer and you want to be able to share files between those two accounts. Sites is, of course, for website making. You might not use that too often. That's it for your home folder here. Uh, split up all your, your files and your documents and all that stuff into all these different folders and keep it organized. Remember, you can make more and more folders inside of each other in little nested folders by choosing your action button up here at the top. Next, uh, the applications folder is the second most common place, your home folder here being the first. Uh, second most common place you'll go to is your applications folder. Applications are just what we call programs. So I have a slightly longer list here of programs that you might not have, but uh, you'll have some of the same ones like address book here, automator, chess, things like that. So whenever you're looking for a program that you've installed on your computer, open up Finder, go to your applications, and scroll through the list and you'll find what you're looking for. That's it for a brief introduction to Finder and to how your computer is organized. Everything on your computer is inside this Macintosh hard drives here. And we've touched on applications as well as your user folder, your home folder here. Okay, Those are the two most common places, your home folder and applications. These libraries and systems you won't use very often, uh, well, perhaps ever, so don't bother changing them. Just understand that they have to be there for the computer to work, um, but leave them alone. Okay. Hope that uh, points you in the right direction for understanding how your computer is organized and where you put your files and how to create folders to keep them organized.